UK government communications headquarters, a crown jewel of the global intelligence community, an organization adapting to a growing threat. China is a threat to our national security. It's a threat to our economic security. And technology equipment you may never have heard of may pose threats you may never have thought of. Hike vision is part of that threat, a very, very prominent part of that threat. Hike Vision, the Chinese firm that makes security cameras which has been blacklisted over national security concerns by our closest ally, America. Start paying attention and you will spot Hike Vision cameras all over the UK. This building alone has nine that we've spotted all around it covering every angle of approach. Now security experts say that alone should worry the government, but this isn't any old building, it's used by GCHQ, the UK's intelligence, security and cyber agency, which begs the question, just who might be watching the watchers and how did that even happen? Heron House opened in 2019 in Manchester's city centre and is described by GCHQ itself as its quote, secure site in the northwest. But covering every corner of the building and above the front door recording who goes in and out is a security camera made by Hike Vision. Is this really that big a deal? I think it is a big deal. I know that they'll come back and say things like they're not our buildings officially, they belong to the, uh, to the city centre and all the rest of it, to the council. But the truth is they are the number one most important security centre that we have. GCHQ knows everything and therefore they are hugely, hugely relevant in this debate and they should not have those cameras. After all, the security service themselves have said they shouldn't have them, so it's ironic that the senior part of the security services has them, and that seems an absurdity to me, and they should get rid of them. There are international concerns over Hike Vision for two reasons. The systems are being used in China, in the surveillance and oppression of the Uyghur Muslims in Xinjiang, and one very specific law. So the Chinese government has a law, the National Intelligence Law, which obliges Chinese businesses and citizens to um, assist the intelligence services in espionage. Um, and of course that's kept secret. It's absolutely staggering that a GCHQ building has high vision cameras on it. Last year, the government security group undertook a review of security risks associated with the installation of visual surveillance systems. In November, the then Chancellor of the Duchy of Lancaster, Oliver Dowden, told Parliament departments have been instructed to cease deployment of such equipment onto sensitive sites where it is produced by companies subject to the national intelligence law of the People's Republic of China. But that Chinese law was passed in 2017. By 2019, Hike Vision was one of 28 companies blacklisted by the US on the grounds its equipment was used in the, quote, repression, mass arbitrary detention and high technology surveillance of Uyghur and other Muslim minorities in Xinjiang. But while our closest ally was making moves, days later across the pond, GCHQ was announcing the opening of its new Manchester headquarters. For four years now, Heron House has been that HQ. Who walks through that building is recorded. They might not be that higher level operatives at work for GCHQ working in this particular building. GCHQ is the highest level, all right? So don't worry about what goes on in that building or any other building. They are GCHQ. GCHQ told us Heron House is a multi-tenancy building. GCHQ does not operate Hike Vision products at any of its sites, including Heron House. We have a range of measures in place to protect the security of our people, systems and sites. Manchester City Council, who leased the building to central government, have declined to comment. Some cyber experts have warned, though, China may have different values, but it's pragmatism, not hyperbole, that's needed. To my mind, what we were doing before with Chinese tech was sensible and practical and quite pragmatic, which is like, yes, we will buy it because we also have <clears throat> a duty in the public sector to, to, to have value for money and to reduce costs. But let's understand what it's doing. Let's make sure that our cyber security levels are where they should be. China is, is very capable and has extremely different values from most democracies. And so we should be wary, but we should also be trying to find ways to work together, in my opinion. 
Hike Vision told us they are not a surveillance company. They are a manufacturer of CCTV cameras and technical analysis of Hike Vision products have never indicated they are a threat to the national security interests of the United Kingdom. They say they are compliant with all UK rules and regulations and subject to strict security requirements and in 2020 was found by an independent investigation to have never, quote, knowingly engaged in human rights abuses or to have acted in willful disregard. Tonight, Hike Vision cameras remain on Heron House and countless council buildings and office blocks across the UK. Look, the very crux of this really is that 2017 national security law in China. It's the same law that was invoked when arguments made a few years ago about Huawei, the same about uh, ByteDance, the owner of TikTok. And all companies say that, no, they have not and would not pass information back to the Chinese, Chinese state. Hike Vision say the, exactly the same. They would not and have not ever pass any information back, that they comply, they are adamant they comply with UK laws. And of course, there is no proof that any of these companies ever have. The fear made by the likes of Ian Duncan Smith is that they might. So at very worst, the risk they say is that information could be passed back. At very best though tonight, what the likes of Ian Duncan Smith and other Chinese talks are saying is on the international scale, when many of our intelligence partners have made moves against such firms as Hike Vision, the UK, and our intelligence services with these cameras around a GCHQ building, just looks very, very silly this evening.